If there is one thing that uh, politicians uh, are really, really good at, is completely fucking pointless gestures that are an utter fucking waste of time and serve as absolutely nothing but just fucking bullshit for fucking headlines like this. Nicholas Sturgeon apologises to people accused of witchcraft. Nicholas Sturgeon has offered a formal apology to people accused of witchcraft between the 16th and 18th centuries, many of whom were executed. And we did actually cover a little bit of this in my uh, The Origins of Witch Hunts video. Uh, however, apologise to fucking who? They're all fucking dead, Nicola. They're all dead, Nicola. Yeah, we did, a, we did a bunch of shitty things in history. However, everyone involved, they're all dead. The people that did it. I mean, apologising for state actions being absolutely horrendous. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. You should... Uh, you should really, really show how sorry you are by dissolving the state. <laughs> that'd be that'd be super. That'd be great if you could do that. But this this is just hollow crap. This is just hollow bullshit. The Scottish First Minister said she was choosing to acknowledge an egregious historic injustice. Right, yeah, okay. People people in history, people in the past, they were retards, they were stupid. We did a lot of dumb stuff. Like, humans did a lot of fucking dumb stuff back in the day. In fact, 200 years from now, people are going to be looking back at us and going, wow, we did a lot of fucking stupid stuff back then. People are especially going to be looking at it right now and saying we did a lot of stupid stuff. But yeah, but see, turn around and like apologise for it. Why? Did you do it, Nicola? Was it you? Were, were you responsible? Are you, are you like a really, really old vampire or something like that? Maybe she's the witch. Maybe that's why. You know, it's like, it's like the witcher. Where, like, women that have magic and everything can stop themselves from aging and they can live forever and stuff like that. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Right, you didn't do it. Nobody alive like, in Britain or Scotland right now did any of it. There's not even anyone to apologise to. Right, that's a stupid hollow crap. It is thought 4,000 Scots, most of them women, were accused of breaking the Witchcraft Act between 1563 and 1736. And Miss Sturgeon also told MSPs that Parliament could choose to legislate to pardon... Those, those convicted under the law. What good? What good would that do them? They're dead. They are dead. Like posthumous pardon to clear their name. I mean, okay, see if it was some like recent. Then maybe, maybe if there was people alive that remembered the particular individual. I don't think anyone remembers like these individuals from fifteen sixty three and seventeen thirty six, right? Fucking politicians, man. I don't know why I'm so angry at this. Uh, but the Witches of Scotland, the Witches of Scotland campaign. <laughs> God. Oh no. My mum's part of that <laughs> uh, campaign. <laughs> That's the government. Uh, the witches are a sore spot. My mother is a witch. Yeah, okay. We have lots of huge arguments about it at dinner. Uh, asked the government to offer a public apology, saying it would send a powerful signal to who? To fucking who? Like, we're not rounding up witches anymore, right? We haven't done it for like 250 fucking years, right? It doesn't fucking happen, right? Are the witches of Scotland worried, right? A bunch of you, like, own shops and shit like that, like, selling witchy shit, right? You're fine. You're fine. You're going to be all right. We're not about to start loading you onto trains. However, if we do, you can use your fucking magic and you'll be fine. Brew a little invisibility potion and all that shit. Yeah. Witch hunts took place in many countries during that period, but academics say Scotland's execution rate was five times the European average because when we, when we do something, good lord, we get shit done. We're like the Germans. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, confessions were regularly secured under torture, uh, with those condemned strangled and burned at the stake. Uh, in a statement at Holyrood, the First Minister said those accused under the Act were not witches. They were people, and they were overwhelmingly women, and that's, see, that, that's why. That, that's the reason that they're doing this fucking nonsense crap. Like, women, oh, women were 250 fucking years ago, right back when we hunted witches. This is performative, hollow, meaningless shite. Uh, colossal scale, she says, at a time when women were not even allowed to speak as witnesses in a courtroom, they were accused and killed because they were poor, different, vulnerable, or in many cases, just because they were women 250 fucking years ago. It was injustice on a colossal scale, driven at least in part by misogyny, and it's actually, it was driven by the church. It was driven by the church, that's who it was driven by, and also the government. It was, it was nothing to do with the fact that they were women, right? Yeah, more women turned out to be witches because more women had roles as healers, right? The men went out and fought and did the work. The women healed. 
right? And that's when women got fucking accused of being witches. That is why, right? I mean, send the women to fucking war. Whatever women that actually did go to war. Not too many, though. Uh, but that, this is why. Hatred of women, mis misogyny, misogyny. Fucking 250 years ago. Today is International Women's Day. As first man, as you know, my wife did an International Women's Day. Made me my fucking dinner. And that's what she did. As far... As First Minister, on behalf of the Scottish Government, I am choosing to acknowledge the egregious historic injustice. Were you not acknowledging it before? Were you not acknowledging historical fact before? And extend a formal, posthumous apology to all of those accused. Wow, well, that solves, that solves their problem. Uh, convicted, vilified, and executed under the Witchcraft Act of 1563. The Witches of Scotland group has been petitioning Holyrood to pardon those convicted under the Act, with QC Claire Mitchell saying it would be correct as far as a possible terrible miscarriage of justice. SNP MSP Natalie Don was already planning a Members' Bill extending a formal pardon, and Miss Sturgeon noted that Parliament may choose to legis legislate in due course legislate. Okay then, so basically the politicians who are... <clears throat> Claiming claiming our tax money as part of their fucking paycheck are going to be talking about absolute nonsense fucking shit like this. This is this is hollow crap. This is hollow performative theatre. That's what this is. Like oh, women women were mostly the people being accused of being witches. This International Women's Day. Here's some fucking bullshit. I tell you what, you a better one. What you could have done is you could have maybe addressed the fact that there's women in Iran who are getting, like, lit literal 20-year jail sentences for wearing a fucking hijab, right? Maybe you could talk about the fact that there are certain countries in the world where it's actually perfectly okay to abduct a random woman from the street and fucking force her to marry you. Is it Kyrgyzstan? I think that's in Kyrgyzstan. What about that? You know, the stuff that's actually happening now, like, actual problems that are happening now, like, problems that women face now. Women... These days, you know, 2022, are not being dragged out of their homes after being accused of being a witch. They are not being ducked in fucking puddles to see if they, or if they drown, then it means they were innocent. They're not being tied to stakes and fucking burned, right? This whole International Women's Day, the protection of women, yeah, that's not happening. This is not fucking happening. It, it does happen in Africa, actually. It does. Yeah, they, they still do it a little bit to some extent. Yeah, it still happens there. But you're not talking about that. You're talking about shit that's 250 years old, well, older than that even, and uh, it doesn't happen now. Right, so this is hollow performative fucking shite. And now you're going to pass some fucking legislation. How about passing some fucking free... How about pass less legislation, fuck's sake? Right, this, this is completely unneeded, completely useless, an utter waste of the government's time, and it is performative hollow theatre. Right? This doesn't mean anything. Blow it out your fucking arse.